Welcome back to Bunter's Yard. Today we're going to be fitting a DCC chip to our Class 59. So even though DCC is very common these days, not every loco is fitted with DCC. If you look on the website of Hattons, for instance, some will say they are DCC compatible without socket. So like some that we've, uh, we've converted. Some will be DCC fitted, so it's already got the chip uh, inserted in there. Or you may not want DCC, you may just want to run your locos on the DC uh, layout. And that way you've got the option. So if you go for this, which is like DC, See ready, which means it's ready to take the chip, but you can run it on a DC in the meanwhile. Now if you bought a loco which is DCC ready, fitting the decoder chip is the simplest part. The, the most worrying part for me is actually taking apart a brand new loco, which I've just paid uh, quite a bit of money for. But after we get over that, it's fairly plain sailing. This is how we got on with this one. So for this logo, we're using a four function uh, decoder from Hornby. And here's the uh, the class 59. And there's no screws on this to take the body off. In fact, what you need to do is to just pull the sides out and release the clips. There's a few all the way along. So it's a bit of a bit of a task. It took much longer than, uh, than I've shown there because it's a bit embarrassing. And there's the, uh, this is just the blanking plug. So this just completes the connections until we get the chip in. And we need to take that plug out. Uh, keep it somewhere safe. You never know, you might need it again if you sell the, uh, sell the loco on. And if you look on the chip very closely before you take it off, you'll see there's a number one on this one. It's the top left hand corner. Just make a note of where that is uh, mentally. And then just take the chip out. Uh, this chip was actually quite loose, um, but try and use uh, something like a wooden stick uh, rather than a metallic object, otherwise you'll end up bending the pins. So there's our decoder, and if you look very closely, there's also a number one on there, um, and that needs to go in the number one position that you noted when you took the, uh, the blank out. That's it, top left. Push it in, uh, make sure they line up, they do bend really easily. I've not used as much force as it looks um, in this shot but just make sure it goes home. It's quite a positive fit. Tuck the chip somewhere nice and safe out of the way. If there's lots of metallic objects inside, like the chassis, etc., then you might want to just um, put some tape around it to keep it um, isolated. Fit the cover back on. I'm good to go. So that's all there is to it. A really straightforward job. Just takes a few minutes to do. Just take care that when you put in the plug in is that the pins are aligned. Don't use too much force. If you bend a pin, it could be uh, it could be bad news. So thanks for watching this video. If you've not subscribed, please do. Click on the bell icon, and that way you'll be notified each time we upload a new video. And uh, happy modeling.